Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Candida Cleanse update, updating you on my life, updating you on where I am in this whole journey, this whole process. I'm going to be touching on a lot of things that I kind of left unfinished, so one of them being Parasite slash Candida Tea Talks that I was taking, another one being that big diet change I made early last year where I decided to switch to plant-based, and much more, so if you're interested, please continue watching. So the first thing I want to touch on is my diet. So last year I decided to do just go full plant-based. Um, I was able to maintain plant-based diet for six months, like consistently, no meat. But then I started to slowly add a little bit of meat in the meals here and there um, later in the year. The whole reason I decided to do plant-based was because you know, I thought I'd have a big breakthrough. I thought that would be my big break when it came to this candida diet and, uh, or just in general lifestyle changes. My experiences with switching to plant-based in, in regards to the candida diet is it didn't really do much for me. And I don't know if that's because I was doing it wrong or I don't know. It's like I just I didn't really know what my body was looking for, what was going to help it and what didn't. But I do know that when it came to this cleanse, switching to plant based, it may have helped, but it didn't. It wasn't the thing that was driving the needle forward. I still strongly believe in plant based eating and living. So I do maintain a mostly plant based diet um, like currently. Except um, there are meals where I choose to eat meat, and will this change? Maybe. <laughs> like, let's be honest, I'm still learning and growing. Another, another update I wanted to give you was um, on the Parasite and slash Candida tea Tox, Detox cleanse that I was doing. I did that in November, and the whole idea there was, okay, let me do this tea Tox. Her great things about it. So I was like, okay, this this is gonna be the answer to all my problems. I'm gonna take this tea talks and I'm gonna just notice this breakthrough and all these things. And, and you know what? I'm not saying that it, that's not possible, but I only did the tea talks for about three weeks and maybe I just didn't give my body enough time to get adjusted to it. Um, it was definitely helping my digestion, but you know, I had a lot of the same symptoms and again, this is probably just me being like, okay, why isn't it, why am I not feeling anything like switching to the next thing? Because I'm very impulsive and also impatient. I was going to revisit it in January, but um, I didn't because just other things came up. I went to my naturopath and that just took me on a different course, which is what I'm going to talk about now. So another update is I went back to my original naturopaths. I did have a naturopath last year so I did end up seeing someone else but I just felt like we weren't on the same page and um, I just felt like her, her guidance, her, her suggestions weren't really that valuable to me or I didn't find them that useful. I decided to make the switch and go back to my original naturopath call her the OG naturopath because she keeps it real with me and she just doesn't sugarcoat anything and she gives me that raw truth that I need to hear. And I told her, I was like, yeah, I've been trying this, I've been trying to do this alone for the longest time and I've tried teas and I've tried changing my diet and I've tried this and I've tried that and she was just like, have you ever considered psychotherapy? And I was like, no. But tell me more. <laughs> I was very open-minded to it, very interested because, you know, what she had picked up on in in our little in our session was the fact that yes, I'm very impulsive, yes, I'm very impatient, but also the fact that I keep searching for things and in places that why am I even looking there? And that, you know, she says in general that the diet isn't hard, which it isn't, but to me it's such a big lifestyle change. I'm interested to know if any of you out there are like this as well because there are some people that you know I've connected with online that they heard they had it, they did the diet, they did the no sugar for like a year and they're good. But then there's also people that have it and they're just like, oh, it's so hard to do this diet, like it's so hard. 
and they just end up kind of living with it or managing it to a certain extent and just like living with it. I don't want to be the latter. I don't want to manage it and just live with it. I want to I want to have a breakthrough. I want to overcome it. And and basically she was just saying that, you know, maybe I need some more help uh, mentally to overcome whatever it is that's preventing me to getting to that level or to getting to that sort of level of acceptance to then, you know, commit to it, fully commit. And I completely agree. And honestly, this is like the year to do this. Like I'm tired. I'm tired of being like, I have this energy. Like it is what it is. It's time to get to work. Yeah, I really appreciate the naturopath I have for just like laying it on the ground there for me and being upfront and even suggesting that. And you know, I just, it's like that type of care and attention I just wasn't seeing with my other naturopaths. So I think I made the right switch. Another great thing that I like about my naturopath now is that she suggested I go back to a testing center to get, um, to do some other tests, but I, I especially wanted to get a food intolerance test taken. There's many different tests you can take for your food allergies. There's a blood test, you can take a like a prick test, then you can take um, this specific one I took. I got a computerized electrodermal test done. There's videos on YouTube uh, of this certain test, so if you want to see it after this video, just Google it real quick. You put a probe, uh, he just like places this probe that is taking the or sending electrical currents through this machine that's hooked up to this computer. And as he was going through each item of food on the list, it was reading whether I was very intolerant to something or perfectly fine with it. Uh, the higher the score was, the more that meant that I was highly intolerant to it. The lower the score, something like 50 and below, that meant that I, my body was fine with it. So I did that test last week and um, that's just what I'm going to use as my blueprint, as my guide, my personal guide to what I can and can or what I should and should not be eating um, on this diet. So I have those results here. I'll take my own personal food intolerance test results over, you know, a generic candida diet list any day. <laughs> He tested about 300 uh, food items. This is like my really intolerant list. Of course, with the perfect score of 100, which means intolerant, um, is blue cheese, gluten, and cow milk. Yeah. Things that I shouldn't be eating, gluten, wheat, dairy, and artificial sugars, and red meats. And pork. Things that um, are on my moderate list, so things that I should eat maybe two to three times a week. Carrot, almond, chicken breast, black eyed peas, lentils, kiwi, sardines, horseradish, yams, buckwheat, beets, brown rice. Gave syrup is here, I'm surprised. And I have a lot of fishes in my like moderate list, so flounder, shrimp here, crab meat, tuna fish, herring. And then going to my perfectly tolerant page, as you can see, it gets smaller and smaller. <laughs> it's, it's a coincidence that they're all so very plant-based things, but rice milk, zucchini, Swiss chard, poppy seed, parsnip, brazil nuts, cucumber, String beans, arugula, fennel, eggs are here, I'm surprised. Walnuts, pecans, cilantro, coconut, lime, olive oil, teff, trout, millet, arrowroot, sunflower seeds, broccoli, a lot of uh, herbs and spices, collard greens, celery, squash, sweet potato, bean sprouts, curry, lettuce, romaine lettuce, pine nuts, onion, oregano, avocado, clove, green peas. So basically, you're going to see me making a lot of recipes from my list that I just list from what I just listed out here. And it's going to be based on my personal uh, food intolerance list. Again, this is a computerized electrodermal screening test. 
Uh, it reads my energy or intolerance levels to certain foods by sending small electrical currents through a computerized system. Please YouTube it, Google it. I strongly suggest everyone out there go and do your own because everyone's body is different so it's going to be a different reading for everyone. But yeah, there are things here that conflict with the Candida diets on the internet. Um, which is fine by me. I'm just going to go by the list here. So how do I plan on, on moving forward with all of this info that I have? It is always overwhelming to me, um, but I've really just been taking it one day at a time and I'm going easy on myself. I have a, a really great naturopath. I have these facts, these tests done right here below and I'm going to be following that food guide I hope I edit this video to be like under 10 minutes because I really can just keep talking and talking and talking but I just want to make this as insightful as I can for everyone that's watching. Um, thank you for everyone that's been watching my videos from the first one to now and who's just been with me throughout this whole journey and welcome if you are just tuning in but watch my previous video. If you have any questions, happy to answer them. All of my information will be in that description box below. So yeah, again, I hope I covered everything. There's so much new things that's happening in my life, but yeah, just bear with me as I learn things, as things come up. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.